To recap Bayesian updating, you have your credence in a theory, your prior probability. Then you get some new information. Depending on how well a theory predicts this information as opposed to other theories, your credences will change. Then you get even more information and you repeat the process all over again. So you have this chain of updating your credences each time you learn some new information. But what's at the very beginning of this chain? What's the prior probability of a theory before you get any information at all? In effect, what's the a priori prior probability of a given theory? This is a really controversial question. There are some general ideas, like simpler theories get higher prior probabilities, whatever simpler means, but there is no agreed upon answer to what the starting or a priori prior probabilities of a theory should be. However, we can use some general guidelines. One important guideline is the principle of indifference. If you have a bunch of similar theories, and you have no a priori reason to prefer one of the theories more than any other, you shouldn't assign a higher prior probability to any one of the theories. There are some technical issues with this principle in certain contexts, but it's a good rule of thumb. To further clarify this idea, let's look at some examples. What is the prior probability that the sky is blue rather than green or purple or some other color? Even though we know the sky is blue, we have no reason a priori to suspect this. So we should not make the prior probability of the blue sky theory any higher than the prior probability of, say, the green sky theory. What is the prior probability that the trillionth digit of pi is 7? A natural answer is that, until we do some calculations, we should have a credence of 10% that the trillionth digit of pi is 7, because we have no reason to expect this digit rather than any other.